Welcome to our English lesson. 100 phrasal verbs with sentences for everyday life. Let's get started. Wake up. To stop sleeping and become conscious. I usually wake up at 7 a.m. I usually wake up at 7 a.m. I woke up bright and early to catch the sunrise. I woke up bright and early to catch the sunrise. Get dressed. To put on clothes. She got dressed quickly and headed out the door. She got dressed quickly and headed out the door. I got dressed to the nines for the big meeting. I got dressed to the nines for the big meeting. Eat out. To have a meal at a restaurant. We decided to eat out instead of cooking tonight. We decided to eat out instead of cooking tonight. We decided to eat out on a whim and found a hidden gem restaurant. We decided to eat out on a whim and found a hidden gem restaurant. Head over. To go to a specific place. I'm going to head over to the library to study. I'm going to head over to the library to study. I fell head over heels for the new city I was exploring. I fell head over heels for the new city I was exploring. Drop by. To visit briefly and unexpectedly. Can I drop by your house later? Can I drop by your house later? I dropped by unannounced to surprise my friend with a coffee. A dropped by unannounced to surprise my friend with a coffee. Pick up. To collect or collect someone. I'll pick up the groceries after work. I'll pick up the groceries after work. I needed to pick up the pace to finish the project on time. I needed to pick up the pace to finish the project on time. Put together. To assemble or build something. It took me an hour to put together the new bookshelf. It took me an hour to put together the new bookshelf. We put together a puzzle while relaxing after dinner. We put together a puzzle while relaxing after dinner. Click through. To browse through something online. I clicked through a few articles before bed. I clicked through a few articles before bed. I clicked through endless articles before finally falling asleep. A clicked through endless articles before finally falling asleep. Doze off. To fall asleep briefly. I dozed off during the movie. I dozed off during the movie. I dozed off in the sun and woke up with a tan. I dozed off in the sun and woke up with a tan. Turn in. To go to bed. It's getting late, I should turn in soon. It's getting late, I should turn in soon. I turned in early for bed after a long day of travel. 
I turned in early for bed after a long day of travel. Fed up with To be annoyed or disgusted with something. I'm fed up with this traffic. I'm fed up with this traffic. I'm fed up with the commute and looking for a job closer to home. I'm fed up with the commute and looking for a job closer to home. Take off. To leave or depart. The plane took off at noon. The plane took off at noon. I took off on an adventure to explore the world. I took off on an adventure to explore the world. Sleep in. To sleep for longer than intended. I slept in late today and missed my appointment. I slept in late today and missed my appointment. I slept in until noon after a late night out. I slept in until noon after a late night out. Meet up with. To arrange to see someone. Let's meet up with Sarah for coffee tomorrow. Let's meet up with Sarah for coffee tomorrow. I met up with old friends for a reunion dinner. I met up with old friends for a reunion dinner. Fill out. To complete a form or document. Please fill out the application form. Please fill out the application form. I filled out an application for the new job opening. I filled out an application for the new job opening. Freak out. To become very upset or worried. I freaked out when I lost my keys. I freaked out when I lost my keys. Don't freak out over a small mistake, we can fix it. Don't freak out over a small mistake, we can fix it. Punch out. To leave work at the end of the day. I'm punching out now, see you tomorrow. I'm punching out now, see you tomorrow. I punched out after a long shift and finally got to relax. I punched out after a long shift and finally got to relax. Head out. To leave a place. We're heading out to the park for a picnic. We're heading out to the park for a picnic. I'm heading out for a walk to clear my head. I'm heading out for a walk to clear my head. Work out. To exercise. I try to work out at least three times a week. I try to work out at least three times a week. I work out to relieve stress and stay healthy. I work out to relieve stress and stay healthy. Feel up to. To have the energy or desire to do something. I don't feel up to going out tonight. I don't feel up to going out tonight. I don't feel up to going out tonight, maybe next time. I don't feel up to going out tonight, maybe next time. Pop into. To visit a place briefly. 
I popped into the store to pick up some milk. I popped into the store to pick up some milk. I popped into the bookstore to browse before my appointment. I popped into the bookstore to browse before my appointment. Drop off. To leave someone or something at a place. I dropped the kids off at school. I dropped the kids off at school. I need to drop off my laundry at the cleaners before work. I need to drop off my laundry at the cleaners before work. Get on. To board a bus, train, plane, etc. I got on the bus and headed downtown. I got on the bus and headed downtown. Let's get on with the project and finish it by tomorrow. Let's get on with the project and finish it by tomorrow. Sit down. To take a seat. Please sit down, I'll be with you in a moment. Please sit down, I'll be with you in a moment. Sit down, relax, and tell me everything that happened. Sit down, relax, and tell me everything that happened. Nod off. To fall asleep briefly. I nodded off while watching TV. I nodded off while watching TV. I must have nodded off during the lecture, could you summarize it for me? I must have nodded off during the lecture, could you summarize it for me? Get off. To exit a bus, train, plane, etc. Get off at the next stop. Get off at the next stop. Remember to get off the bus at the next stop, it's your turn. Remember to get off the bus at the next stop, it's your turn. Pick out. To choose something. She picked out a new dress for the party. She picked out a new dress for the party. Help me pick out the perfect outfit for the party tonight. Help me pick out the perfect outfit for the party tonight. Put on. To wear clothes or makeup. I put on my coat and boots before going outside. I put on my coat and boots before going outside. Put on your coat, it's getting chilly out there. Put on your coat, it's getting chilly out there. Go by. To pass by or visit a place briefly. I'll go by the store on my way home. I'll go by the store on my way home. Could you go by the bakery and see if they have croissants? Could you go by the bakery and see if they have croissants? Fool around. To waste time or play. Stop fooling around and get your work done. Stop fooling around and get your work done. Stop fooling around with the lights, you could break them. Stop fooling around with the lights, you could break them. Figure out. To understand something. I'm still trying to figure out how to use this new software. 
I'm still trying to figure out how to use this new software. I'm trying to figure out how to solve this puzzle, it's driving me crazy. I'm trying to figure out how to solve this puzzle, it's driving me crazy. Get through. To finish a task or endure a difficult situation. I'm finally getting through this long to-do list. I'm finally getting through this long to-do list. Just get through this week, and then we can finally relax. Just get through this week, and then we can finally relax. Switch on. To turn something on. Switch on the light so I can see. Switch on the light so I can see. Switch on your creativity and write something amazing. Switch on your creativity and write something amazing. Wipe down. To clean a surface quickly. I wipe down the counter after cooking dinner. I wipe down the counter after cooking dinner. Don't forget to wipe down the counters after cooking, it's a mess. Don't forget to wipe down the counters after cooking, it's a mess. Fill up. To completely cover or make something full. I filled up the car with gas before the road trip. I filled up the car with gas before the road trip. Remember to fill up the car with gas before a road trip tomorrow morning. Remember to fill up the car with gas before our road trip tomorrow morning. Come across. To find something unexpectedly. I came across this great recipe online. I came across this great recipe online. We came across a hidden gem of a restaurant down a little side street. We came across a hidden gem of a restaurant down a little side street. Make up for. To compensate for something you did wrong. I'm trying to make up for forgetting your birthday. I'm trying to make up for forgetting your birthday. I'll make up for missing your birthday party by taking you out for a special dinner. I'll make up for missing your birthday party by taking you out for a special dinner. Deal with. To handle or address a problem. We need to deal with this issue before it gets worse. We need to deal with this issue before it gets worse. We can't ignore it anymore. We need to deal with this problem head on. We can't ignore it anymore. We need to deal with this problem head on. Put off. To postpone or delay something. I keep putting off cleaning my apartment. I keep putting off cleaning my apartment. I keep putting off cleaning the house, but it's getting out of hand. I keep putting off cleaning the house, but it's getting out of hand. Get down to. To start working seriously on something. Let's get down to business. Let's get down to business. Let's get down to business and discuss the project plan without further delay. Let's get down to business and discuss the project plan without further delay. Run out of. 
to have no more of something. I ran out of milk and coffee this morning. I ran out of milk and coffee this morning. I ran out of patience waiting for the bus, so I walked. I ran out of patience waiting for the bus, so I walked. Shout out to To publicly thank or acknowledge someone. Shout out to my friend for helping me move. Shout out to my friend for helping me move. Let's give a big shout out to the volunteers for making this event possible. Let's give a big shout out to the volunteers for making this event possible. Track down. To find someone or something you've been looking for. I finally tracked down the book I wanted. I finally tracked down the book I wanted. I need to track down the missing package before the deadline. I need to track down the missing package before the deadline. Sort out. To organize or deal with something. I'll sort out the bills later. I'll sort out the bills later. I'll sort out the mess in the living room before guests arrive. I'll sort out the mess in the living room before guests arrive. Pass on. To refuse something or give it to someone else. I'll pass on dessert, thanks. I'll pass on dessert, thanks. I had to pass on the opportunity to travel abroad, it wasn't the right time for me. I had to pass on the opportunity to travel abroad, it wasn't the right time for me. Live up to. To meet expectations or fulfill promises. He lived up to his reputation as a great athlete. He lived up to his reputation as a great athlete. Don't be afraid to take risks and live up to your potential. Don't be afraid to take risks and live up to your potential. Stand up for. To defend someone or something. I'll always stand up for what I believe in. I'll always stand up for what I believe in. It's important to stand up for what you believe in, even when it's difficult. It's important to stand up for what you believe in, even when it's difficult. Blow up. To become very angry or upset. Don't blow up at me, it's not my fault. Don't blow up at me, it's not my fault. I shouldn't have blown up at my boss, but I was really frustrated. I shouldn't have blown up at my boss, but I was really frustrated. Hold off. To wait or delay doing something. Can you hold off on sending that email until tomorrow? Can you hold off on sending that email until tomorrow? I'm going to hold off on making a decision until I have all the facts. I'm going to hold off on making a decision until I have all the facts. Chip in. To contribute or help with something. We all chipped in to buy a new coffee maker for the office. We all chipped in to buy a new coffee maker for the office. Everyone needs to chip in and help with the housework. Everyone needs to chip in and help with the housework. 
Work out the kinks. To solve problems or difficulties. We're still working out the kinks in this new software. We're still working out the kinks in this new software. We're still working out the kinks in the new software, but it's getting better. We're still working out the kinks in the new software, but it's getting better. Blow past. To exceed expectations or go beyond what was expected. She blew past her sales target this month. She blew past her sales target this month. I completely blew past my deadline and didn't even realize it. I completely blew past my deadline and didn't even realize it. Get on with. To continue doing something or make progress. Just get on with your work. Just get on with your work. Don't just sit there scrolling through your phone, get on with your work. Don't just sit there scrolling through your phone, get on with your work. Face up to. To acknowledge or deal with a difficult situation. I need to face up to my mistakes. I need to face up to my mistakes. It's hard to face up to my mistake, but I need to take responsibility. It's hard to face up to my mistake, but I need to take responsibility. Put up with. To tolerate something unpleasant. I can't put up with his constant negativity. I can't put up with his constant negativity. I can't put up with this noisy neighbor any longer, I'm moving out. I can't put up with this noisy neighbor any longer, I'm moving out. Break up with. To end a romantic relationship. I finally broke up with my boyfriend. I finally broke up with my boyfriend. I finally broke up with my boyfriend, it was a tough decision, but it's the right one. I finally broke up with my boyfriend, it was a tough decision, but it's the right one. Look forward to. To anticipate something with pleasure. I'm looking forward to our vacation next week. I'm looking forward to our vacation next week. I'm so looking forward to spending the holidays with my family, it's been too long. I'm so looking forward to spending the holidays with my family, it's been too long. Clear up. To become less cloudy or confused. The weather should clear up by afternoon. The weather should clear up by afternoon. Let me clear up the confusion about the project deadline. It's next week, not this week. Let me clear up the confusion about the project deadline. It's next week, not this week. Settle in. To become comfortable or familiar with something. I'm starting to settle in at my new job. I'm starting to settle in at my new job. I'm excited to finally settle into my new apartment and make it feel like home. I'm excited to finally settle into my new apartment and make it feel like home. Hear out. To listen to someone carefully and without interrupting. Let me hear you out before you jump to conclusions. 
Let me hear you out before you jump to conclusions. I want to hear out my friend's concerns before I make a decision about the party. I want to hear out my friend's concerns before I make a decision about the party. Patch things up. To repair a damaged relationship. We need to patch things up after our argument. We need to patch things up after our argument. We need to patch things up after our argument and move on. We need to patch things up after our argument and move on. Get along with. To have a good relationship with someone. I generally get along well with my coworkers. I generally get along well with my coworkers. I'm hoping I can get along with my new roommate. She seems nice. I'm hoping I can get along with my new roommate. She seems nice. Blow off. To ignore or cancel plans. I had to blow off my friend's party because I wasn't feeling well. I had to blow off my friend's party because I wasn't feeling well. I'm going to blow off my responsibilities for a day and relax at the beach. I'm going to blow off my responsibilities for a day and relax at the beach. Follow through on. To do what you promised. I always try to follow through on my commitments. I always try to follow through on my commitments. Don't worry, I'll follow through on my promise and help you with the project. Don't worry, I'll follow through on my promise and help you with the project. Give someone a heads up. To warn someone about something in advance. I gave my boss a heads up that I might be late today. I gave my boss a heads up that I might be late today. I'll give everyone a heads up about the change in meeting time before they leave for the day. I'll give everyone a heads up about the change in meeting time before they leave for the day. Get a handle on. To start to understand or control something. I'm finally getting a handle on this complex project. I'm finally getting a handle on this complex project. I need to get a handle on this overwhelming to-do list before I start feeling stressed. I need to get a handle on this overwhelming to-do list before I start feeling stressed. Branch out. To try something new or explore new possibilities. I'm thinking of branching out and starting my own business. I'm thinking of branching out and starting my own business. It's time to branch out and step outside of my comfort zone. It's time to branch out and step outside of my comfort zone. Pick up on. To learn something quickly. He picked up on the new software very fast. He picked up on the new software very fast. I finally picked up on the hints she was dropping, she clearly likes me. I finally picked up on the hints she was dropping, she clearly likes me. Brush up on. To refresh your knowledge or skills. I need to brush up on my Spanish before my trip to Mexico. I need to brush up on my Spanish before my trip to Mexico. 
I should brush up on my French before my trip to Paris, I don't want to be a tourist. I should brush up on my French before my trip to Paris, I don't want to be a tourist. Get on my nerves. To annoy someone. You're getting on my nerves. You're getting on my nerves. Stop it. You're getting on my nerves with your constant complaining. Stop it. You're getting on my nerves with your constant complaining. Weigh up the options. To consider the advantages and disadvantages of different choices. I'm weighing up the options before I make a decision. I'm weighing up the options before I make a decision. I need to weigh up the options carefully before I decide on a new job. I need to weigh up the options carefully before I decide on a new job. Go off the beaten path. To do something different or unconventional. We decided to go off the beaten path and explore a new part of the city. We decided to go off the beaten path and explore a new part of the city. Instead of the tourist traps, we're going to go off the beaten path and explore hidden gems. Instead of the tourist traps, we're going to go off the beaten path and explore hidden gems. Get down to business. To start working seriously on something. Let's get down to business and finish this report. Let's get down to business and finish this report. Let's get down to business and finish this project on time so we can relax later. Let's get down to business and finish this project on time so we can relax later. Break the ice. To start a conversation or make someone feel more comfortable. Let me break the ice by telling you a funny story. Let me break the ice by telling you a funny story. I'm not good at meeting new people, so I broke the ice with a funny anecdote. I'm not good at meeting new people, so I broke the ice with a funny anecdote. Let go. To stop worrying about something or trying to control it. Let go of your fear and embrace the adventure. Let go of your fear and embrace the adventure. It's time to let go of the past and embrace the present, there's so much to look forward to. It's time to let go of the past and embrace the present, there's so much to look forward to. Live it up. To enjoy yourself fully and take advantage of opportunities. Let's live it up while we're young and free. Let's live it up while we're young and free. Let's live it up and make the most of this incredible adventure. Let's live it up and make the most of this incredible adventure. Make sense. To be logical or understandable. What you're saying doesn't make sense to me, can you explain it again? What you're saying doesn't make sense to me, can you explain it again? These instructions don't make sense to me, can you help me figure them out? These instructions don't make sense to me, can you help me figure them out? Hit it off. To connect with someone immediately. They hit it off right away and became best friends. 
They hit it off right away and became best friends. I'm so lucky. I hit it off with my new colleagues right away and I already feel like part of the team. I'm so lucky. I hit it off with my new colleagues right away and I already feel like part of the team. Look up. To visit or contact someone after a long time. I haven't looked up my old neighbor in years, maybe I should reach out. I haven't looked up my old neighbor in years, maybe I should reach out. I don't understand what that word means, I need to look it up. I don't understand what that word means, I need to look it up. See eye to eye. Agree with someone. We see eye to eye on most things, especially politics. We see eye to eye on most things, especially politics. We don't always see eye to eye, but we respect each other's opinions. We don't always see eye to eye, but we respect each other's opinions. Get on the same page. Start to agree with someone. After a long talk, we finally got on the same page about the project. After a long talk, we finally got on the same page about the project. We need to get on the same page about the project deadline before we start working. We need to get on the same page about the project deadline before we start working. Have a hunch. Have a strong feeling about something. I have a hunch they'll win the competition. I have a hunch they'll win the competition. I have a hunch that the numbers aren't adding up. Let's double check. I have a hunch that the numbers aren't adding up. Let's double check. Put your money where your mouth is. Back up your words with action. If you think you're right, put your money where your mouth is. If you think you're right, put your money where your mouth is. Stop talking about it and put your money where your mouth is and make your dream a reality. Stop talking about it and put your money where your mouth is and make your dream a reality. Stand your ground. Refuse to give in or change your opinion. She stood her ground and refused to apologize for what she said. She stood her ground and refused to apologize for what she said. Don't back down, stand your ground and defend yourself. Don't back down, stand your ground and defend yourself. Swallow your pride. Admit you were wrong. It was hard for him to swallow his pride and apologize to his friend. It was hard for him to swallow his pride and apologize to his friend. It's hard to swallow your pride, but it's the right thing to do. It's hard to swallow your pride, but it's the right thing to do. Take a stand. Publicly express your opinion or support a cause. They took a stand against the new policy. They took a stand against the new policy. Don't be afraid to take a stand for what you believe in, even if it means being alone. Don't be afraid to take a stand for what you believe in, even if it means being alone. Think the world of. Have a very high opinion of someone or something. I think the world of my family and friends. 
I think the world of my family and friends. I think the world of my new friend, she's always there for me. I think the world of my new friend, she's always there for me. Feel strongly about. Have a deep conviction or opinion about something. I feel strongly about protecting the environment. I feel strongly about protecting the environment. I feel strongly about protecting the environment. It's important to me. I feel strongly about protecting the environment. It's important to me. Hold on to. Believe in something despite challenges. He held on to his dreams even when things got tough. He held on to his dreams even when things got tough. Don't give up. Hold on to the hope that things will get better. Don't give up. Hold on to the hope that things will get better. Get a grip. Control yourself or your emotions. Take a deep breath and get a grip. Take a deep breath and get a grip. Take a deep breath, get a grip, and face your fears. Take a deep breath, get a grip, and face your fears. Let go of. Stop worrying about or trying to control something. She let go of her fear and jumped out of the plane. She let go of her fear and jumped out of the plane. It's time to let go of the past and focus on the future. It's time to let go of the past and focus on the future. See things differently. Change your perspective or opinion. After the accident, he started to see things differently. After the accident, he started to see things differently. Your explanation helped me see things differently. Thank you. Your explanation helped me see things differently. Thank you. Come to terms with. Accept something difficult or unpleasant. It took her time to come to terms with her loss. It took her time to come to terms with her loss. It's hard, but I'm coming to terms with the fact that the relationship is over. It's hard, but I'm coming to terms with the fact that the relationship is over. Move on. Stop dwelling on the past and focus on the future. It's time to move on from what happened and start fresh. It's time to move on from what happened and start fresh. Don't let this setback define you. Move on and keep chasing your dreams. Don't let this setback define you. Move on and keep chasing your dreams. Make peace with. Accept something you cannot change. He made peace with his decision and moved on. He made peace with his decision and moved on. We all have flaws. Learn to accept and make peace with yours. We all have flaws. Learn to accept and make peace with yours. Get over it. Stop feeling upset about something. Just get over it and don't let it ruin your day. Just get over it and don't let it ruin your day. Don't let small things ruin your day. Get over it and move on. Don't let small things ruin your day. Get over it and move on. 
Learn a lesson. Gain wisdom from a mistake or experience. She learned a valuable lesson from her experience. She learned a valuable lesson from her experience. Every mistake is an opportunity to learn and grow, so don't beat yourself up. Every mistake is an opportunity to learn and grow, so don't beat yourself up. Grow from. Use an experience to become stronger or wiser. She grew from her challenges and became a more resilient person. She grew from her challenges and became a more resilient person. Don't let negativity bring you down. Rise above it and focus on your own journey. Don't let negativity bring you down. Rise above it and focus on your own journey. Rise above. Overcome difficulties or challenges. Don't let them bring you down, rise above it all. Don't let them bring you down, rise above it all. I would go ballistic if anyone tried to hurt my family. I would go ballistic if anyone tried to hurt my family. Go ballistic. Become extremely angry. He went ballistic when he found out about the cancellation. He went ballistic when he found out about the cancellation. There you have it, 100 essential phrasal verbs that you can incorporate into your daily English usage. Practice makes perfect, so don't hesitate to start using these in your conversations. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And remember to subscribe too for more language learning content. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, keep learning and growing. Bye! For now.